everybody. Yes. Uh, with the pasties, give us these little Kim vibes. Come on. Okay, little Kim in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Mr. Husky? I'm doing well, and yourself? We're doing just fine over here. I am, anyways. How you doing, Britain? I'm wonderful. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I need those same pasties. Yes, I need some of those pasties, too. Oh, they are on Amazon. Yes, I need to get me some. I'm going to have to scroll all the way to the right when they like extra, extra, extra large pasties. Because I got big areolas. Oh, well, you know, I got little Hershey's kisses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hershey's kisses. All no. right, well, we are ready to start. Please excuse me. <laughs> Kids got your tongue. <laughs> right. <laughs> Kids got your tongue. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started, y'all. And welcome, welcome <laughs> to the Raw BJ Podcast Presents an independent music moment today. We are joined by Burgo Husky. <laughs> yes. Hey, everybody. Yes. Uh, loving the pasties. Loving the pasties. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here with us. The Thank whole you. look matches, though. You got to take in the whole look. Everything yeah. matches. The hat, the glasses, and the, give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> and with social consciousness, the onk. Yes. Let's let's sure. speak on all of it. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think that they really, you know, catch everything that I give, but I'm glad that somebody did. I knew it would be a, a you Yes, know. I'm woke, woke, honey. Woke, yeah. woke. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. Yeah, so. You can be fashionable, but there's something up here also that's going on. Everything comes together. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into it, y'all. Who is Burgo Husky and where does his name come from? Okay, well, Burgo Husky is, so I'm over here smoking my cigarette. Y'all don't judge me. No, <laughs> but, shit. Let me take a sip of my drink while you Your smoke. body, your choice. Okay. Okay, all right. So Burgo Husky is, um, is a name that I created. I was trying to throw myself back out there into, like, the dating world. And, you know, I'm, like, a recluse. So I was coming up with a, um, I call it a hostagram name. So I was just trying to come up with something, you know, to bring the boys to the yard. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> I came up with Burgo Tresky. Um, and um, my niece, I think she came up with the Husky thing. Um, and we just threw it together and I threw it up there. Um, and it kind of went from there. Okay. You don't have anything oh, tell us, She's tell crazy. us about you. Um, like where are you from? From one of the Carolinas, is that correct? Yes, sir. I am from North Carolina, Fayetteville, aka Vietnam, aka Dreamville. Okay. I am born and raised here. From is Savoy, that anywhere Canada. near the Bull City? Um, we about fifty minutes away, forty-five minutes from Raleigh. But you know, once you get to Raleigh, child, five minutes you in Durham. So right, right. I'll say fifty minutes away. I was in Raleigh yesterday okay. at this uh, Republican steakhouse. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Eating Republican Brussels sprouts. So mm -hmm. you know, but that's where I'm from. I've been here a majority of my life. Um, I am prior service and um so i've traveled a lot too i lived in atlanta for almost 10 years mm. and that's really where i started my hip-hop career per se my music career 10 years when what 10 years where was we i don't know um you know i was i was you know i was i was around um i'm not one of the new girls per se um <laughs> I'm, I'm a legend so I've been doing yes. this for a long, long time. So um, we'll say um, 2010, <laughs> 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 around there, you know what I'm saying? Then I basically left and I, I completely quit music. I retired, left, moved back home, went back to school. Shout out to Fayetteville State, Bronco Pride. Um, I am an HBCU um alumni yes uh, hbcu i went to school and um bought my house and i kind of settled down and just started 
you know, started chilling with family and I started really developing artists and writing a lot of R&B. And then like, let's say really about six, six months to a little, probably a little bit more than that ago, I just didn't have an outlet. Like I developed my little cousin, I, you know, I work with uh, a ton of people in the community, you know, and I had no creative outlet. So, and then I was going through some personal things. So I just started writing again. And this is what you have, Virgo Husky. Hey, now we are loving every single bit of it. Thank so you. is you have you've released music prior to this year or have you just worked with other artists i've released music i've um i am you can find me on lasto's album where's vivian i actually helped co-executive co produce that um i think i co-wrote one of the hooks um i'm also featured on travel plans so that was from like 2013 2014 i did a lot of traveling back and forth to New York. So shout out to Lasto, another legendary gay rapper. You can also find me on Porn Star 2, the mixtape from Bryant, another legendary gay rapper. I'm familiar with Bryant. So um, yeah, I'm I'm from the same generation as Bryant, Solomon, Last Defense. Um, you know, um, Miss Jones is a little bit, you know, um, I she started a little bit before us, but that was really like our pretty much one of you know our introduction era per se so i've been doing this for a minute i just kind of stopped and a lot of my um content was taken down which i find that to be you know as i think about it now it was kind of a good thing so i've just been flooding with like new content and people you know some people think i'm new some people don't but you know it is what it is i'm here the girls didn't see this one coming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Virgo. <laughs> I love it. So you've been doing music for quite some time. What inspired you to actually get into music and start doing it? Um, I think a lot happened. Um, my mother passed away when I was very young. Mm -hmm. So when my mom passed away, I was, you know, uh, I started writing. So I started, you know, I found my passion in writing. And um, I think I wrote my first rap at seven. And I ghost wrote for my two little cousins. And I'm, I'm talking about little cousins, older cousins. Um, then fast forward, I started in middle school or junior high, as it was back then. You know, um, I started playing brass instruments and I found, that's when I found my love for like instrumental music. So I do play um, trombone, trumpet, euphonium, things of that nature. So I found my love for that. And I think when I was around 14, 15, my cousin Destiny, shout out to her. I was just with her yesterday at the Republican Steakhouse. <laughs> but she found my notebook. And she started digging through my notebook and she was like, you need to do something with this. So I basically started like joining ciphers and all of that. So I just started, you know, rapping and taking it more seriously and then boom, you know. So I just been doing it. It's, it's something I can't shake. It's just, I have to like, my love, my, my life is in the studio. I could live in the studio. All right. Well, it definitely shows through your music. Uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the first one that we're going to play, uh, Straight Like That. Uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us what inspired this song and who was featuring? Uh, Straight Like That is featuring my homegirl, IG. Um, she's doing a um, little background work for me or whatever. Shout out to IG, phenomenal artist herself. But um, Straight Like That is just something, you know, she's just a little ditty. I was going through some production and I just knew that she was what she was. So I held on to her while I was working on other stuff. And one day the beat came on and I said straight like that. And I just wrote it real quick and went to the studio and it came out. So it's just, it's just another, um, these are really, I call them statement pieces. Okay. So that's basically what it is. Straight like that is a statement piece. I'm just letting the girls know what it is. 
Mm, straight like that. But well, why don't you go ahead and introduce it? <laughs> oh, the, oh, straight like that by Burgo Heskey. You can find me on YouTube, Burgo Heskey, Instagram at Burgo underscore Heskey. You know, Burgo Heskey on TikTok. Make sure y'all check me out. <laughs> and I'm straight like that, y'all. My All Burgo right. Heskey featuring IG. Drop it like a promo like Okay, about this song, I have a confession to make. <laughs> Just so you know, Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> part of this song has been my catchphrase with my with my boyfriend. <laughs> Just so you aware, okay, I have been talking hella sexual shit with this song when I'm talking to him, Ooh. <laughs> whatever. And I done told him like I have told him several things. Number one. I'm gonna drop it like a promo, and I don't know what okay. you're gonna do after that. <laughs> he had no rebuttal and no comeback, and he is a battle rapper, by the way. Right. So I said the shit I said, bike dropped, and the conversation was over with. But right after that, he let me know that he couldn't wait to spend our anniversary together. So I'm just excited. I'm definitely gonna drop it, but I want you to know that your lyrics have inspired a lot of things. Well, I'm glad I could. You know, I thought you, a lot of my homeboys have been like kind of mad at me because, you know, um, I've been doing at the beginning, I started off doing uh, just straight songs, you know, um, they are not I'm not trying to, you know, razzle and dazzle you with all of these. I'm just giving you straight me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm writing. So they, you know. 
of course, they've been saying little jabs about me not displaying all of my lyricism in certain things. So for people to appreciate the songs that a lot of people heard before that they was like, eh, I'm like, okay, yeah. Because y'all see what I saw in it besides, mm -hmm. you know. Make no uh, mistake, you got range now. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely. You go a lot of places. And I think that from what I've, from what I've heard of the music, I feel like you have two sides. I feel like there's an educated, very studious way that you present things. And then there's another side that's like, don't make me come off this porch now. <laughs> like you have two very different, like you have a you have a very like studious way of presenting things, and then you like let me just go ahead and break this shit down. Like you have your layman's terms that you use when you're talking to people, and then you have your nice, nasty, educated way that you're explaining it to people. Ooh, well, I mean, I heard... you didn't deny it, but it's I'm like, <laughs> it's like he got the mm -hmm, you didn't, and then you he didn't got deny the... it, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I you know, at this point in life, I'm just you know trying to um, I'm just trying to have fun. I'm trying to enjoy life. I've been through a lot, um, life wise. You know, I'm a lot of pain. You know a lot of death and, and just a lot of struggle. So I don't really, you know, at this point with my music, don't expect me to go, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, all sad and down, you know, this is, you know, this is the time for me to, you know, shake my back. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. So <laughs> I'm hoping that you guys will shake your backs with me. You That's know? right. So. Flowers don't shrink. They bloom, honey. Okay. Rain, snow, sleet, hail, sun. They they don't shrink. They bloom. All I gotta do is hear ooh, <laughs> and I know the shit about to bop. Okay. About I got bop. now. I got I got a question because I've been curious about this this whole time. Mm -hmm. I've I've heard your music and I know what you're capable of, and I want to know who is it that you would collab with that you haven't already? Mm. Out of anybody. Anybody, if I could. You can, but anybody. <laughs> like one per I only get one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's I'm gonna be good with just one. Yeah, with just okay. one. Okay. I I would say strategically, can I can I have one for each subject? People that are educated, go ahead. Listen. Okay. <laughs> so, so right now, I would want to be on Rihanna's next project. Okay. For one, I got bills that's due. <laughs> check will clear. Okay. okay. That check will clear. <laughs> that check will shine bright like a diamond. Okay. This mortgage is, you know what I'm saying? Burgo needs some kitchen floors. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I would, and I definitely want to work with her as far as like some dream shit. I don't know. There's so many talented people out here. It's so many, you know. It's so much going on, like, you know, musically, that's just crazy. So I don't really, like, it's a million people, you know? Let me ask you this. Who in the LGBT scene would you like to collab with that you haven't? Mm, that I haven't worked with. Mm, that's... Mm. Is that harder? Yeah, that's a lot harder. <laughs> um, for one, I think people are in their own, um, in like their own, it would definitely like, if I think of any of them, it definitely has to be the right song. You know, it couldn't be some, some bullshit because, you know, of course I'm not going to, um, not going to put your name on some BS. Right. Well, yeah, that, and you know, I always, you know, I'm very protective over the way that I sound too, mm -hmm. you know? So um, right now, I, I have no idea because everybody's so different. You have like these girls with these, um, you know, different styles and stuff like that. I don't know because it's like, you know, I'm too busy in my own world to even like think about that. I see things, but I don't really like listen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I couldn't really give an answer on that. Okay. I, I don't think I could. Well, I have a question. It's 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 a very it's a very original question. I don't think anybody's ever asked you this before. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, of course. Okay. Right. If there was a love and hip hop North Carolina no. or a love and hip hop, who's gonna in your for your area? 
Mm-hmm. Give me five cast members, including you. Oh, oh, um, oh, that's it's one, different. Gonna, it's different. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I'm not. I'm not made for reality TV. So that is just. I am, but then the focus would be off of the music. I I need to keep the focus. My focus is my art. Yeah, I don't ever want to lose focus. You know, off of that. But um, here. Shit, I'm this area. I don't know. It'll be like my friends. You know what I'm saying? And y'all don't know them, so I wouldn't be able to. You know, <laughs> in fairness, really- we didn't know some of the people on Love and Hip Hop either when they showed up. I didn't okay. know. I ain't know nobody but Stevie J and Scrappy. Everybody else was brand new to me. I, I, I learned about Benzino. I learned about all these other people, but I didn't know them when the show first came about. Right. Well, everybody, let's say everybody um, you see really in that first video, Have a Seat, those are characters. Those are my cousins and my best friends in those in that video. Oh. They look like oh. some characters in that video because I was just like, these niggas out here <laughs> having a good old time. Okay. <laughs> it's just my, most of my videos are my family, my family and my people. If you okay. That's awesome. Them. Yeah, so it's just, you know. So just, you can pick anybody off of there because everybody, where I'm from, everybody is a character. I promise you. And there's so much talent here, it just doesn't make any sense, you know? So I couldn't really like, you know, it could be anybody from here. Come on, it's Fayetteville. Oh. Home of J. Cole. <laughs> home of Moray. Home of Virgo. Well, since you're in the video with your family and friends and stuff a lot, I want to know, how what's the overall consensus? How does your family actually feel about your music? Do you have it split? People who like it, people who don't, or do you have overall everybody supportive? Um, it's been like my aunts are in um the straight like that video. Um, you know, a lot of people couldn't, you know, people have kids, jobs, stuff like that. So people come who can, you know everybody's running their own businesses and working and stuff like that. So, you know, so everybody, cause I have a huge family, but um, as far as everything, yeah, everything is really supportive. Like, you know, I, the last video, luckily, you know, um, I didn't have to hardly do anything. You know, I do all of my own creative things of that nature, but you know, they pulled together to make sure my looks were a hundred percent, um, you know, they did all of their scenes on the side. I didn't have to worry about that. I, you know, so I have a great support system. Yeah, that's love. That's, I mean, that's awesome. Cause I, I'll tell you from what we've seen, we've heard a lot of artists and we've talked to a lot of people and a lot of people don't have a fraction of that. Like had to go out against their family to do what they had to do, live their truth, be them, do their music. And mm-hmm. it's just now, the support system is everything. Now, look, we got to understand that Virgo is, you know, Virgo did used to be Twizza. You know, Virgo is a rebrand. So Twizza, um, Twizza did everything by itself. Twizza was in Atlanta alone. Twizza went through a lot of hardship. Twizza went through homelessness. Um, I used to have to walk the, the beat Cypress, you know. Uh, I used to run security for a transgender friend of mine. Um, I'm not going to call any names or anything like that, but she was a sex worker and she, you know, in order for me to eat, you know, I used to do her security, you know, that's how I made money. So I've been through a lot. So what Virgo has is, you know, this years in the making, you know, Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a complete difference and it's a whole story behind that too. So sometimes you run a lot and, you know, then you get to the point where you realize everything you needed was right at home. And that's kind of where, you know, everything is right now. It took a long time for things to come full circle. So it's, it hasn't been easy at all. And then you got to understand I'm from that generation too, where, you know, we received tons of hate too. You know, we Mm -hmm. are trendsetters, you know, we are, we are legends. It's like you have the, just, you know, I like the ballroom scene, you know, like the name, like a person like Tim M. You know, Tim M is an icon. Tim M has been doing this since the early 90s. You know, I was on one of his albums too, Insecurity. 
you can find me up there. But, um, you know, so, and I know he went through a ton more than what we did. So it's not all like, you know, glitter and, and, you know, all of this, you know, this, this is a lot of, it's a lot of work and it took a lot to get here. So oh, I agree. Can I tell you that you, you don't look like anything you've been through? Well, thank you so very much. You don't look like anything you've been through, honey. Everything you wear, you wear well. Oh, I'll tell you that. You know, that's the, you know I, you got to eat that extra piece of fat back. Hey, <laughs> I know. I know. I got a fat bag now. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, <laughs> I, can, uh, I do have to know, yeah. what is your creative process like, though? Because of all the stuff that you know and all the knowledge you have when it comes to music now and you've developed other people. So I know you have your own process as far as what works for you. But what is that like? What does that consist of? I shut down. Um, when I'm in... Uh, realm when I write I don't watch TV at all um, I may watch like right now I just um because you know the the new song I just wrote that so I wrote that probably like a week ago went straight to the studio recorded it boom so um so yeah so I completely shut down I don't watch TV um if I do turn on the TV it's something like the Parkers or something just like when I'm about to go to sleep, just to have noise and light in the room. I don't mm -hmm. like sleeping in the absolutely black room. That doesn't work for me. Um, so then I don't listen to anything. Um, I don't want to hear anything. Um, I don't like people coming in. Like if I'm working on something, you know, I have a small cousin who has a tendency to come in. And if I'm writing, he'll try to rap or something. And don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I, you know, I'm really specific about me being authentic and my sound being my sound. I don't want to sound like anybody else. I don't think I sound like anybody else. Um, so that's like a, a real big thing for me. So I'm really like, I really shut down and I just write. That's what I, I do. Definitely can definitely say that, uh, you know, with, I would say almost every other artist we've interviewed, we've been able to link some type of comparison, which is not a bad thing, but you definitely, I would say, have a sound of your own. Like, I can't say that mm -hmm. I can think of anyone who sounds like Burgo Husky. Right. Well, you know. <laughs> it's that, you know what it is? I figured out part of, partially what it is because some of it is just unique to you yourself, but I'm going to call the rest of it the Fayetteville formula because we right. haven't seen it ourselves. So I'm not particularly sure. But when you put everything together, you execute it so well. It's like it's your particular way of doing things. Like it's your sound all together. It's a very unique way of putting it. Like the stuff you say, I haven't heard anybody else say it that way. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm in Atlanta. Everybody in Atlanta can rap. My mailman be dropping some fire 16s before he <laughs> drops my mail into the box. You see what I'm saying? Like, everybody can rap, but it's just what like your delivery. Is different. It's different. What it's a different. different. Speaking of different, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next song that we're going to play cool off so why don't you go ahead and tell yes! the people I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. she is loving this one um why don't you go ahead and tell the people about this song what inspired this one? Ooh, cool off i can't tell you what really inspired it <laughs> no, this is a raw bj a raw podcast let's Virgo. Get you raw. got to tell get raw. Uh, well, you name raw. drop be petty now, it was just it's another statement piece um <laughs> a lot of my music has been written in depression Mm -hmm. So these songs are not only like, um, I feel like they're statement pieces, anthems, they're chants, but they're, um, it's also, it's a pick me up. Like whenever I play my mixtape, which, you know, we're like 99.9% .9 done. So whenever I play the mixtape, it, it makes me get up. No matter if I'm depressed, if I don't feel like cleaning up, if I'm over here boohooing about this. So cool off is... It, it's another, it comes from another place like that, but Cool Off technically is a statement piece letting the, it was just letting the girls know, you know, my homeboys was like, well, you went here, you went there, you went there. Like, you know, you need to, you know, just, it's just like a little warning, but it's a light warning just to let the girls know that, you know, I don't just write, you know, I'm, I'm lyrical too. 
But this isn't even, you know, to me, it's not really, you know, that hard. But you guys, once again, this is Virgo Husky with Cool Off. I believe Cool Off is the fourth video. Y'all can look for that. It was done on Nimix. Shout out to the Nimix Fav Click, RIP Van. Y'all can go ahead and run that. Let the girls know what it is. <laughs> Probably wanna see why me the little thick on me And I give a few dollars if you take a peek See, I ain't up for D, just good at math M plus me, child, it's something to catch While he winking, I'ma fuck with the nigga with cash And he don't mind that I'm just a little flat in the air Bro, it done got a little hot in the kitchen It is time I walk through, he catching what I'm pitching Fresh fried chicken, dip with the gravy You store brought cheese and let a few snakes in You ain't know that I been the boss On the low ski, my bro ski while they Approach me, they know he a one man mob. I'm a beast, I'm a eat nigga, no remorse. No cap, all truth. It is, of course. Married to this music, nigga, no divorce. They take my chains off now, and let them out the yard. Big bird on the track, and my shit go hard, bitch. Jump off, he know what this is called. The girls don't even get a meal and a spin off. Got, got the game blurred like a word a little too far. Niggas better swerve cause they heard that I'm too wrong. Call the girls, tell them break fast on three. Cause it hit the whole flock for a bitch like me. Them lies you make coming out your ass like Lee. Gonna catch the dance too. While a bitch keep hitting. song is really one of them songs where people have their perception of you they see you they want to try you and stuff and you're like i'm not one of them so whatever the fuck you came with i'll just you might want to think about it cool off i'm yeah you might <laughs> cool want to pull the back it's like you might as well back just, the fuck you, yeah up. you might as well call it back the fuck up okay the <laughs> or fuck? you know what or you you know what i'm saying this is the this ain't what you want <laughs> the life you say will be your own song like that's what this is <laughs> and we we grew up watching and listening to things like kings of crown like we was always ready to knock a head off like okay. that was our we shit you know what I'm we and, but, but when people came with that same energy we had to love them. it's not what you think it's gonna be it's not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go because <laughs> we was in um i don't know if, like you remember we was in high school back in like the 05 06 time mm -hmm. and this was during like after the aftermath of katrina a lot of people from New Orleans had come into Atlanta. Georgia real mm -hmm. quick, and they was like in our school and all sorts of shit, and you know, and it was all this thinking you know, everybody to take over some shit, but we yeah, weren't having that. I ain't have no problem. I ain't had no problem with the beignet makers, but let me tell you this: uh, you're not gonna hold me. <laughs> you're not gonna hold me. Not in my school. Not in my city. Ain't gonna be no. I don't give a fuck how long FEMA taking. I don't care about none of that. You gonna watch your mouth? Oh, they or shit go them, south. Okay. It's one of two. Them, it's just, it's just that FEMA simple. Checks, so. Hell, we was and the, and we was in the middle <laughs> of it. Like gas went up to like six, seven dollars a gallon. Everybody was feeling the tension. It's not just you. It's all we all suffering at the same fuck time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, Burko, this song is everything. I do want to ask before we jump into. We're gonna play a little game with you here in a second. 
But I do want to know before we get into the game. I just love he's just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you what did you what are you in school for? What are you majoring in? Oh, I'm done. So yes, I have he said that. He went yeah, to school, got a child college. I know, but what did you um with a concentration in English and music? Okay. Of course. So right. It's okay. So is that is that are you in like are you a teacher of music? No, or? I actually I just got the little thing to to like I took the little class to substitute or to become a teacher's aide. I don't have a licensure, but um I could do like um the lateral program to mm -hmm. where I could go in and they'll hire me now. And all of my friends are educators, like let's say eighty percent of my friends are educators. Um, and it's just not for me. And I'll tell you the reason why. <laughs> so I believe, um, like my friend, she's a um, high school chorus teacher. And, you know, I go to all her events or whatever, well, the ones that I can make. And there was one particular event where, um, you know, I know a couple of the teachers up there because I've hung with them. You know, we've had, you know, drinks together. We're grown, you know. But um, so we were in there and it was another teacher I knew, you know, and we were talking and stuff, and my homegirl's choir had just got finished, and they came down. This one girl was just cussing and acting all out, and I, I had to say something to her. And um, she was she had got mad and all of this stuff or whatever, and um, it just hung on to me. So I kept calling my homegirl. You know, her name is Dre. I was like, Dre, you need to check on this girl. Come to find out the girl had all the, you know, she had issues at home, things of that nature. Me as a person, I don't think that I would be able to separate, you know, um, personal life from professional life. I'd be over people's houses with groceries. I'd be sitting up probably having a drink with a mama, you know what I'm saying? Right. Stuff like that. And I know that it would just, it would probably tear me to pieces. That's something, um, being an educator is, um, you know, you have to have a, a phenomenal heart and mind to to do that. And um, I just, you know, I know that if I stepped into it, there would be no Burgo Husky. So, you know, my choice is is Burgo. Plus, I don't want to go in messing up anybody's life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, I don't want right. to go in and um, have to fight anybody's parent. Now, that's that's the thing that would worry me because I've I've been asked to do the tag program because i have a bachelor's degree like where you go through the program in georgia and you know they'll hire you out of any county but you it's like a one-year program really to get your licensing and all that other stuff because you already have a bachelor's degree and the education part i don't have a problem with but i'm too emotional for my children like students to tell me oh my dad punched me in the face you know like for no reason and i just can't i can't i just can't focus here Cause I got too much going on there or show, kids show up with cigarette burns. Oh God. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I'll be like, you know, Joe Clark from lean on me. I'm knocking mm. on apartment doors. Like, Hey, you know what I'm saying? What's, what the fuck are you doing? Put them new ports down. I, I can't believe you would do Rodericks like this. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be the conference so I acting, can a, acting a whole, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Treating the students like they my children. And I feel like that's why I didn't go into social work because it was a really big calling for me. And I had to make a choice and I really had to think about, can I walk away? And you know, like even even now, like I watch Law and Order SVU and be like bawling, crying. I don't know these fucking people. <laughs> I'd be dead. Olivia be over there holding the kids and crying. I'm over here crying. We don't even know these fucking people. This shit based on a story. It ain't even a real people. It ain't even. It ain't even happen to these people. I'm like, oh my god, not Marcus. And but my we watch like, movies girl. together. Then I'm like, <laughs> I feel so bad because girl, I be crying too. I know niggas be looking at right, me. Right, and I know some bullshit going down. As soon as I hear do do, you know what I'm saying? Like when they go into the <laughs> do do, like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So, are you ready, Burgo? Oh, it's time for rapid fire. It's Give it a time move. for a rapid. Fire. You better roll it. You better roll it. You better roll it. <laughs> it's time for rapid fire. More fire. More fire. More fire. Mm -hmm. In this game, Burgo, you're going to have sixty seconds. Sixty. To answer these. Three questions as fast as you can. Are you ready? Yes. All right. 
And your time starts now. If you could date anyone in the world, who would it be? Time is going. Anyone in the world. Mm -hmm. As of they have to be like physical human or anybody in the world. Um, I would date myself. Oh. Okay. Uh if you could be (laughs) any animal, what and why? Um it would either be like a lion, an elephant, or um, a puma. I think I look like a puma. <laughs> a, a lion is the quote unquote king of the jungle, even though it lives in the grassland. Um, and elephants are just, um, there's something very regal about ele- elephants and lions, you know, makes me think of the motherland. <laughs> That's all. Describe yourself in three words. Creative, loving, spiritual. Ooh. All right. Okay. <laughs> you about you about ten seconds past the line, but we gonna give it to you. We gonna give it to <laughs> you. <laughs> Yo, okay. I like that. That was cute. I like how he gave us three different animals. Yeah, those are all animals that I'm okay with. I am. I was trying not to die laughing with the puma part. The puma part. Okay, I said <laughs> why? Why? I'm <laughs> fucking gone. I don't see the resemblance, but if right, that's the shit you told yourself. Right, you came up with that on your own. Nah, I, I send a picture. Later. Yeah. Okay, ah. send us a picture. We want the exclusive cut. Right. Speaking <laughs> of exclusive cuts, y'all tell us about. Your latest single that you dropped, Juice Box. Yes. Okay. Before you tell us about it, let me tell y'all about pop. how I felt. Okay, when this man sent this song and was like, "Check this out," and I went and listened to it, and I was just like, "Ugh." I popped the Plan B. This song right here. Let me tell you something. I popped the Plan B. Instant bop. I was just like, "Yes, Virgo." Tell us about the Juice box well juice box is um <laughs> derived from uh, i hang on to words a lot and um my homeboy i was going to revise a song it's a fan favorite um a lot of people that i know love this song i still have the production the song is over 10 years old i was listening to the beat and my homeboy was like well he can hear the age in the beat a lot of people, you know, still like the beat, whatever. So I started searching. I was like, oh, you know, and then I thought about it and I started searching for like new production and I found Juice Box and um, shit, I just wrote it. And it, I was like, you know, I'm going to try. I, tr- you know, went to a new engineer and um, just it was just something different, you know, I was like, okay, I did this, I did that, I did this. The last two, um, the last two tracks I put out, I'm that bitch, and um, and uh, uh, whatever the other song was, uh, you need to stop it. Um, which is, is I think some uh, stop it still moving a little bit or whatever, but um. Out of those two songs, I was like, you know, I need to, you know, it's time for me to go. Even though I'm still clubby, I need it, you know, I wanted to come back upbeat, you know? Right. I, I like upbeat joints. I'm a, I'm a club head. So when I heard that, I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. So I wrote her, went to the studio, and threw her out there. And people like it, so. Fuck like it. We love it. At least over it. here. Yes. Okay. Y'all, so why don't you go ahead? We ain't gonna hold the people, y'all. Introduce the song, y'all. Well, this is Virgo's latest single, Juice Box. It is featuring me, Virgo, on everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, this is a, another Virgo exclusive. And um, I hope you guys um, really stream her, download her. All of this, because you know, I need my publishing. This is the real business. Um, (laughs) So um, I know that's right. I know that's right. (laughs) I burn your head. Y'all get ready to shake some ass, (laughs) y'all.
I make that juice spots pop, pop, pop. I make that juice spots pop. Virgo, make your juice spots pop, pop, pop. I make that juice spots pop. Virgo, make your juice spots pop, pop, pop. I make that juice spots pop. Virgo, make your juice spots pop, pop, pop. I make that juice spots pop. Dick in the hips, know you see me right I know it hurt to see a bitch getting all this life I can smell your hoes hating from a different side Big body buick with them stankies, right? See, he like them real thick, yeah, certain size Face down, ass up, leave them curtains wide He wanna take a little trip, wanna take a flight Big body bends, then we skirting, right? I might let him get a whiff of cologne and tie And put him out for the count like a Tyson fight You heard me, a full course, wanna take a bite And toot it up like them horns be doing that halftime Tack on me, he be yelling like we on go line He like to lick and chew me up like a hardcore rhyme He be all up in my face, that nigga tryna dry the boat Virgo got them boys tryna drop the soap I make that juice spot, ha, ha I make that juice box pop. Virgo, make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Virgo, make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Virgo, make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Wanna take a little sip, flow cold like ice Everybody wanna taste cause the seasoning right They said that cake real moist, wanna take a slice Chef Virgo from that Savoy Heights Bad thick little joint, why your face balled up? Cause everybody in my DM tryna try they look You know it sit real good when it's up in his jeans Virgo got him talking if you know what I mean I might let the top down and enjoy the ride Put him out for the count, then Virgo gon' slide You heard me, grip the grain, then it's all green light Hit the gas Ass on these beats, then I wait bye bye. You know the shit real good when they wasting their time. And trying to hold on to the boy like a good hairline. They all up in my face. Them niggas trying to try the boat. Virgo got them boys trying to drop the soul. I make that juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Virgo make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Virgo make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Virgo make your juice box pop, pop, pop. I make that juice box pop. Big boss bitch kinda built like a Chevy. Hold up, wait a minute, boy, you ain't ready. Hold, hold up, wait a minute, boy, you ain't ready. Big boss bitch, big, big boss bitch, big boss bitch kinda built like a Chevy. Hold up, wait a minute, boy, you ain't ready. Hold, hold up, wait a minute, boy, you ain't ready. Big boss bitch. Yes. You listen. When we do the season finale, I'm I'm almost certain this is probably going to be number one for the top three independent music moments mm-hmm. of the season. Like, and I know what's coming up for the rest of this month. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the season, but I know if it's not number one, it's definitely going to be in the top. <laughs> this is just for me, honey. Listen. Somebody's juice box gonna pop just listening to it. My juice box pop almost. <laughs> You better not get none on this goddamn couch. I know. You better not. <laughs> the fuck? You better keep that smoker to yourself. <laughs> Virgo, congratulations on that one. That's a bot, man, for yes. real. Thank you so very much. You know, I was kind of... Uh, you was trying to was, cure people's was, infertility was, issues is what you was trying to do. You, <laughs> that's what you got going on. Well, you know, it, it was another one of those that derives from, um, you know... It derived from uh, another realm, and um, I was kind of um, come here, babe. You got it here. Put it in there for me. Hmm, hurry up. Thank you. That's my god, baby, y'all. Aww. Oh, I was gonna say, is that a boyfriend? No, that's my god, baby. No, okay. You know, is L single. do it all. He be out here watching <laughs> children. He got a ministry going on. He do music. Okay. Get a shot. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Virgo Ministries where the juice box always pops. Hey. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Hello. Okay. Hello. Like, to, be, to be honest, you know, this has been a, a spiritual battle. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand. Um, I quit. Basically, I retired because my nieces started watching and listening to my music. And they were young at the time. And I was like, you know, I don't want to influence them to do anything. You know, this is that. So I was like, man, I need to lead by example. So that's why I came home, went to school, all of that. 
but then it got to the point where you know this is this is me you know what i'm saying and this is a part of me and you know my sexuality my um you know my creativity mm -hmm. all of that those are very uh huge parts of me and i'm not going to hide them you know to to make anybody else comfortable it doesn't you know i don't bother anybody can't so, got a bloom got to mm -hmm. so with okay. that being said what how do you feel about all the the smoke that's going on with the lgbt community and the the rap the hetero rap world as of late um, yes <laughs> Now, my okay. thing is I'm over here I write so I you know the music is going to speak for itself and the check is a oh your mic went out we can't hear you oh y'all can't hear me oh we hear I you now you. oh okay so um, I got y'all on the um, I got y'all on the good computer <laughs> now, the pro over there you know that's where the music is it's, i got you on the good one but um so yeah so i don't i don't really get into it i think that people um uh, for one people make mistakes and, and people are you know people got to understand that some people aren't as educated um or let's say familiar with um with things that are outside of their their realm or their um their environment uh -huh. and you have to um you know just like i was allowed to grow you have to allow people to grow and to learn and things of that nature so i mean it is i think it, it'll, go, it'll go over you know what i'm saying i don't really get into it like that i'm not saying that um it wasn't you know of course i know it shouldn't have been said you know what i'm saying but oh did you hear all that i did because yeah. that, that was my my that was my i understood and, and it was me, acknowledged you told me to shut the fuck up and we moved no, on to the I next point <laughs> you told me that you didn't agree and we moved on to the next point but i just wanted to know i just want you to know there's a consensus uh, do you have that proof of that as soon as you drop that episode, <laughs> <laughs> I have to stream it on all platforms. The fuck? I'm all I said sure was, people, I part. mean, people, you know, I mean, there are, there are, you know, I mean, you know, I look at it like this. Look, if you're looking for another North Carolina artist, because, you know, maybe the other artist that you were, you know, you had booked is no longer booked. Book Burgo. You That's know. right. Hop on in. Hop Thank on you. in that spot. Shit. They needed some shit with some bop in it. The fuck? Yeah. So, I mean, but at the same time, you now, know. What I said was, here's my thing. I When it comes to the baby, Boosie, all these people making these comments, all I said was, there should be a forum right. where straight people, gay people alike, come come and have conversations. This to toxic masculinity, people coming up with their own views, these prejudices, these unbiased, this unbiased conscience or whatever, unconscious bias and all this other stuff. Those are the things that are getting in the way. We got to bring it to the forefront and have a conversation, especially as African Americans. This is our community. People just need to be educated. That's all. Thank you. That's all I was saying. Facts, super facts. That's that's it. And you got to understand. You know, a lot of these people are from the hood, so. They right. haven't seen anything else, you know, learned anything else. And nobody's that. telling them different. They didn't learn different when they got in the industry. They just signed paper and got some money. Like, right. nobody told them, yeah. just so you know, don't say this shit out loud. Like, HR didn't come down and tell them nothing. <laughs> they didn't change who these niggas was. They just got them some money. Fact. They bought their mama house. They paid off their cousin's student loans. That's it. That's all the fuck they did. They didn't get no training, no nothing. So, well, but, I mean, uh, it's, we're all in doctrine to a certain point. Facts. Um, every, I agree. Every single person, um, especially if you grow up here, you're in doctrine. You, as soon as you turn on the TV, the the way you know, uh, religion, everything. So it's up to you to go out there and educate yourself about you know what's out here, whatever. And unfortunately, you know, some people are just you know stone cold set in their ways, and mm -hmm. you know that's on them. So I don't, you know, I'm always, I'm the type, I learn something new every day. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm perfect because I'm not. I thank God for, um, for giving me this privilege every day. I'm far from perfect. I'm just as ratchet. And, you know, I have my ways too. 
you know, I was raised by my grandma. So, you know, I'm, I got a little old school in me too. Yes. So, you know, but I did, you know, you know, educate myself more, um, changed a couple things, uh, you know, ways of thinking, you know, I was raised Roman Catholic. I was raised in the church, you know, and um, I, I, you know, I'm still churchy, but with a twist, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm very much so spiritual. So, you know, it's, it's it, people are people shit people are going to be people people are going to make mistakes every day they're going to say shit they're going to piss you off whatever whatever i'm quite sure what we do you know of course everybody don't like that either but oh well because it's a lot of shit that you do that i don't fucking like i don't want to see that shit you know what i'm saying but mm -hmm. we but we see it whatever whatever so i this is my whole thing about the whole thing there is enough money in space for every fucking body. There should, there's enough okay. food for everybody to eat. So if somebody else is eating or whatever, that's them. I'm in my own land. I don't give a fuck what you got going on over there or whatever. Just cash my check because my people's back here hungry. We is tired of scraping up them. You know, okay, well, Mika got $30 on her EBT card. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> you know? I got twelve dollars on Cash App. You know okay. what I'm saying? Let's let's get who gonna get this? Somebody got some charcoal in their garage, you know. And that's <laughs> you know, we ready to eat lobster and shit. So it's you know, it's enough out here for everybody. I don't think that um what you do or uh, what you eat makes me shit. So I think that people should just fucking mind their fucking business. Okay. Period. So <laughs> that's that. Um, so Burgo, let me ask you, what is your favorite Burgo Husky song? Mm, that's a hard one. Um <laughs> that's a hard one. For for a while, um I was bent on cool off. Um, but it's like every time I do something, it becomes my favorite. Because I can, like, even my videos, if you look at the videos, like, just to see the elevation of, like, me and, um, like, Alpha Aaron, that's my videographer, just to see, like, how far we're coming and what we're doing and how, like, the rough edges are being cleaned up and stuff like that. Now, I do pride myself in being, you know, regular degular. So I don't mind, like, I, we never go back and re-edit anything. I, I enjoy like the mistakes. I think the mistakes makes it um makes it more accessible. You know what I'm saying? Just like the fact that you know I have my people in it. I'm not gonna hire no models, and I got some homegirls down the street. I don't care what shape, what color, what size, whatever. We all dance too. You know what I'm saying? So um, as far as my favorite, as I make them each one becomes my favorite because it's like, you know, I put a lot of work and effort into these, into making these sounds, you know, and into making sure that each and every one of them are different or, you know what I'm saying? Or, and they're different, but they're tied into each other. The song structure of, of, of everything, like I'm very big on song structure. I don't know if y'all hear it, Mm -hmm. But how how I bring stuff back in and and stuff like that, um, these hooks, um, like what can I come up with next? That's you know that you know that balances that fine line of uh, of um, being witty and, and but at the same time being a serious musician. You know what I'm saying? So it's. Everything is my favorite. I'm loving the, the project. Y'all have heard most of the project because I've done a million videos um, and I've put just about every track out there. So um, right now we're, I think we're over 10 songs in. Um, I just have to do like the interludes and I'm going to do a few more songs and then that's it. So we're looking at the to drop within, you know, probably by my birthday, which is Scorpio season. Okay, Scorpio season. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. Like, just the product is, the product is great. There's the whole thing is y'all don't understand. <laughs> I, when I first came out, the girls, 
you know, there were a lot of things that he's black, he's fat, he's ugly, he's this, he's that. And then, you know, I was real young and impressionable back then. So I took, instead of taking a lot of things, you know, on the chin, you know, my, um, I absorbed it. And, um, you know, I went through a lot with that. And, um, you know, to come back and to do it on these terms, like the first thing I said was, shit, I'm going to take my shirt. I done gained this weight. I done ate the extra pork. Who going to eat that pork chop? Me? Okay. <laughs> you know, I ate the extra pork chop. I didn't even want for having seat. I did not even want my homeboy, you know, who was just in here. You know, I'd be with the street niggas or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, you know, all of them, there's a lot of them that have my back that a lot of people don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, he was basically like, you know, he was in the next room or whatever. And I had just recorded Have a Seat and Have a Seat was repeating, you know. And I was like, well, damn, you know, he didn't do my ad list, whatever. You know, everything wasn't done. So I was going to go do another session. And my boy came in. He was like, nah, you just that's it. Just let it rock. And I was like, yeah. So, you know, Have a Seat is kind of unfinished. And then um, on top of that, like doing the video, I did not want to put my face back out there. You know, like I said, I've been in a, you know, it's been spiritual warfare. I didn't. You know, it was a long, I had a long talk with the creator about stepping back out into this realm, you know, just to make sure that I'm putting out the right energy and, and not influencing negativity and, and all of this other stuff. And, you know, I came to terms with, you know, that, you know, we as a people, we are creatives and it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's art. And that's all I'm doing is just art, you know? Mm -hmm. So. It is what it is, but I am like this product, child. Well, we can't wait for Scorpio season to get here because we ready to hear Hello. the rest of it. Hello. <laughs> well, the name is the name isn't Scorpio season. The name is actually called Slaying Season. So Slaying Season is my former mixtape. It was supposed to come out about ten years ago, and it never came out because I retired. Okay. So this is the finished product. I just kept the name, you know. It's a labor I, of love project then. The slang season. You definitely don't long time slay coming. this season. Though. It's a it's a long time. Everything came full circle. Like everything came full circle. Everything. So I'm just elated. I'm in a whole different world. Like people actually like my shit. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of people that are with people with blue check marks following me and ah. me and stuff like that. And I'm like, me, you know, I'm just a around the way girl from the hood. You know? <laughs> yes, around the way. <laughs> yes, around the way. Uh, you know, so I'm just like, I'm in shock. And, you know, my whole thing is, you know, this is more, people don't know. It's more, I look at it as like a kamikaze thing. Um, I'm sacrificing myself because I know that I have this enormous gift that was given to me and I could use this gift to create generational wealth. I can use it to break um, chains uh, in the family and in my village. And I'm from a village of helpers. So imagine lifting the burden off of a helper, then they'll be able to go out and lift the burden off of somebody else. So I'm really hoping that this pops off so we can start a chain of reaction to to kind of, you know, to uplift the community because we need it. Bad. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, Burgo, what's the best advice you've ever been given? Um, There's a couple things. My grandfather, my, this is my mom's dad. You know, my mom passed away when I was six. So I was raised by my grandmother which is my my dad's mom i'm knocking off my hat and stuff excuse me <laughs> my, um my dad's mom but you know my mom's dad was always there too so my granddaddy richard or willie um granddaddy said always keep your nose clean and learn something every day so keeping your nose clean means you know if you owe somebody pay them back if you do this do that so like, a lot of people look at me and they be like, well, you know, this, this, that, or blah, blah, blah. The reason why I'm, I'm so good out here is because I keep my nose clean. The people that I fuck with, they fuck with me off of my word. You feel what I'm saying? Because they know I'm going to bring it back. 
if I ever tell somebody I'm I'm going to get this bag, I'll be back. You know, I might uh -huh. need your help. Let me hold this or whatever. I always come back with what I say. So that's that's kept my bonds and my relationships wonderful. Um, I learn and I read something every single day. When he said learn something every day, what he meant is you you know you never think that you're too smart for anything. Like it was one time where I thought I was um you know I. I was damn, um, I ain't gonna say I was Erica Badu, but uh, you know, I was, um, you know, I was on my shit, you know, I was, I was in the African American everything, history, you know, literature, all of this, and I was agnostic and just, you know, I thought, I thought I had got too smart for God. And I was humble. You know what I'm saying? So never think that you're too smart for anything or that, you, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? So recognize that you have wisdom because that comes, but always remember that you can learn something every day. Then when I was younger, because I wasn't the best child um, either, and uh, Lord rest my grandmother's soul, she sacrificed a lot for everybody. And um, she's the reason why I went to Fayetteville State. She graduated from Fayetteville State in 85 with a million grandkids, 12 kids. Uh -huh. And I was like, if she could do it, then I know I can. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse for me. But I was throwing a tantrum when I was little and stuff, and I was screaming, why me? And my grandmother looked at me and she said, why not? And she walked away. And that always stays in, in the back of my head. And that's been like a key to me, you know, like if something happens, just to rebuild. Because I went through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of them. So, you know, that's just a little Virgo advice. Okay. I love it. I, I love just, it too. Can I just tell you this? <laughs> the part that you was talking about, about why not, my grandma, like my great grandma, she said that in its own way, but she always said God, God puts his toughest soldiers in the battle. And that always made me feel so much better in the midst of my struggle, whatever the struggle was, whether it's being a single mom, whether it's the caseload for your classes, because the credit hours will kill you if you let them, whether it's getting an essay done in two days, because I forgot two days before that we had to what <laughs> I was mm -hmm. typing until 1159 Mountain Time, because that's when it was due, but I'm on Easter time, so I got an extra hour and a half to turn this in or whatever but I like every time I, I before I could get down I thought God puts the toughest soldiers in the battle so I can make it I can I can do it whatever it is and it, it used to always resonate with me when I felt like I just couldn't have it it when I felt like it just wasn't for me right remembering that I was the toughest in the battle that just brought me through the whole way it's for me right I love it so as we wrap this thing on up, no, <laughs> no, uh, I really could. We could. We definitely got to have you back on when you uh, drop the the mixtape. Um, but and you can come to Atlanta and have dinner with us. Yeah, I we asked actually y'all what side to... of Atlanta are y'all on? Uh, Stone have... Mountain. Yeah. Uh, where off the of, um mountain? What is it? What's the name of that road over there? Um, we're I'm closer to Gwinnett County, um, off of 124, actually near Stone Mountain Park. Mm. Okay, I used to stay. Um, whew, what's that memorial and um, what's that road right there? They say it got real bad over there. It was bad when we was there. The memorial, Harrison. memorial in Columbia. Harrison, oh, yeah, Harrison, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not actually not. That's like about 15 minutes away from me. If that, yeah. Well, I'm I'm when I'm down there, I'm in Avondale or um, you know, I'm still on, in that area. I'm always on Memorial. We can yeah. go to Avondale Pizza. It's still there. <laughs> have mercy. We and I'm down to, there like every other month. What? We definitely have to link up with you. Let us know uh, when you come back down. We love to have you. Uh, no, he's on me. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm coming, girl. <laughs> but um, you said yeah, we definitely go on you. Definitely gonna okay. set that up. But as we wrap it up, uh, let's go ahead. What's one message that you want to leave for your fans? Mm. To um to for one to to never give up. Um 
sometimes sometimes it may not be your season right then but if you keep working consistently um you know you'll you'll achieve you know you'll achieve you know greatness just don't don't fuck don't don't give up don't give up there's a man if i could tell y'all i'm a stroke survivor i lost my mom at a very young age in the last within the last five years i've lost my younger brother and my father i battled through school i had a stroke while i was in school lost my brother during finals turned around took a year off you know gained about 50 pounds all this craziness but I picked myself back up and I kept going and you know one thing my aunt said she said um you know she said it took her you know she started when and got pregnant with my cousin at 18 and took her another 30 years to go back to college she said it doesn't matter how long it takes it's just as long as you get it so oh. you know so just don't give up don't give up on anything because it's it's out here it's enough for everybody to eat period so, oh, love it love it love it thank you so much for we being love you here, Virgo. Virgo we you. have definitely enjoyed this entire interview one of our favorites thus far yeah send me the link for the pasties I know that's right. <laughs> I, I gotta, go, I gotta go through my Amazon. I, I you gotta go, go through, through your orders list. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 let me tell you, I bought. I it's I got a million of them. I'm like, you know, I have to be prepared for shows and all of this, and I think that things are really turning low key. I'm not gonna speak on everything, but oh, there's a wow. whole lot. You dropping nuggets. We got the sauce. You dropping nuggets. Well, why don't you go ahead and drop uh, where the people can find you? Your Instagram, yes. where your music is. Every platform, please. Well, my um, for one, my Facebook is Twine Wall. Um, I'm giving that out. It's actually my personal page. That's T W O N W A L L. Um, you might want to get in now because they are flooding. Um, I don't know how the girls found me, but they did. Um, <laughs> And I started, I messed up by posting videos on that page instead of posting them on the Burgo Husky page. And now that the views have went up, I don't really want to take them down and repost them. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, add me on Instagram. It is Burgo, that's B-E-R-G-O underscore Husky, H-U-S-K-Y. Also, um, it is Burgo Husky on TikTok. That is one word, Virgo Husky. Um, I am on Twitter under my, um, I still have my old handles, Twizza Music. So it's T-W-I-Z-Z-A-M-U-S-I-C. -Z -Z and if you put Virgo Husky into the search bar on YouTube, you will find my YouTube page. Page, Please subscribe to my YouTube so we can get them numbers. Already better. hit. So I can get the friends because, you know, I got a little mortgage. You got a little car note out there, you know, a little 2020. Hey. You know, I, I got all trying to win. Okay. I got bills. Kids calling me. My nephews and stuff want $20 on the cash app and all that. <laughs> Cappuccino. So, you know, so it is what it is. Absolutely love it, y'all. Go ahead and Follow Burgo Husky everywhere. Download, stream that music, watch those videos, do all that good stuff, and we're gonna keep bringing it to you. Burgo Husky, thank you once again for being thank here. Thank you for having me. And for everybody listening, watching, y'all bring y'all asses back for another independent music moment. Whenever the hell we decide to give y'all another one, and we will all come together. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Bye. <laughs>